all, folks. I just had this. It's a pleasure and we have to see the likes of Paddy uh, coming through after 12 months. I am after being in the home for 16 months. And uh, it's just a blessing to see each of them how so well they're doing. It's a, it's a real testimony to people who don't know uh, who God is to, uh, to see the miracles there each day, you know. And it just blesses me heart each time I look at every one of them, you know. This ministry that, uh, this IU ministry of this church, I tell you, I'll always thank it because uh, there's so many lives that are being changed through this, including my own. And um, like Leighton said earlier on, it, it's a tough program. Um, you know, you've complete curriculum. And first of all, you have to submit to authority, which is something we all had problems with being from prison backgrounds and stuff like that. So it's not very easy to just uh, bow down to being told what to do after being a, a rebel all your life, you know. Yeah. So that's one factor of the, the program that is tough. And then you've other stuff like how to change your heart and stuff like that. Because uh, it's God will show you issues of what you have to deal with, you know. And uh, I'd just like to say anyway, my name is Mark Bourne. Uh, hey. I come from Ballyferma. Uh, the north side, the posh part, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. As I said, 16 months ago, 16 months ago, um, I acted like I was from the rough part of Valley Fair, and not the north side. Uh, the life of addiction, I'm not going to go into it too deeply because there's children here and stuff like that. And I don't want to glorify Satan in it either. But uh, let's just say uh, I was in heavy uh, sin and addiction. And uh, I ended up, long story short, because I've been told in only five minutes, but I had a sermon ready for here tonight. So, uh, and, uh, everybody has got a Bible, so it's fair to the drama of Bibles and stuff. But uh, yeah, I ended up losing me kids and all because I was a, an addict. <coughs> I purposed in my heart right there. That's a big word actually, purposed in your heart. But I did it right there to go get myself right and get do everything in my will and power to get my three little kids back. You know, and I decided to come into the men's home after I had uh, prayed out to Christ to save me soul and my sister and my sister. And uh, he changed me that night, lads, I tell you. My sister Denise is born again Christian, yeah, and so is my brother Noel, and my little sister Arla, and her husband Darren. And they were always in the air about Christ and Saviour and Saviour and all this stuff, and they used to say, Is it all through case? It wasn't until a chain of events that took place in my life, like losing my kids and my missus and my job, and being locked up in prison and twice in one year, and all that kind of stuff, that I kind of realised that uh, they were talking some sort of truth that there had to be more because I had tried everything under the sun to fill that empty gap that we all have in our heart. Mm -hmm. I tried to fill that with every substance under the sun nearly and it never worked. Mm -hmm. And I decided to give me life to Christ. Mm -hmm. and one mm -hmm. little prayer that I'm not messing with just changed my whole life. Mm -hmm. Filled that emptiness that was in my heart. Mm -hmm. And I wake up every day just singing a hymn about God. Yeah. It's like, I, I, as I said, you don't know how to believe it, but there's a verse, it's going to be life scripture, I spoke to me a long time ago since I came in the home, and it's, uh, it's Psalm 40, verse 1 to 3, but it goes on to say that God uh, hears your cry, and he leans onto you, and climbs onto you, he hears you. Yeah. And he took it out of a horrible pit and out of oily clay. I used to think of that as being a builder working on a job. Uh, you're walking around the building, so you're stuck in the mire. It's hard to walk through it. God lifted me up out of that, that hell that I was living, drug addiction and all that. And he set my feet upon the rock and established me gods. And not only that, but uh, he put a new song in my mouth. And uh, many should see it. And uh, fear the Lord and even trust in him. And saying that God is the main issue of the RU program, it's granted it off drugs and all that, we can all do that. But the real thing is getting right in your heart and following after Christ Jesus. And that's exactly what I've done. 
As I heard a sermon there uh, shortly after I came in from John Van Gelder, the evangelist, and uh, God spoke to me right there and then and told me, that's what I want you to do. I want you to go tell other people that Christ saved you and that he wants them. He's not willing that any should perish. That's right. So uh, I did the Netcasters program. It was a week-long course. And being hard to memorize stuff after all the years of abuse, late I'm sure with the grievance, I had a little bit of a struggle with my curriculum. The RU curriculum that uh, knocked me back for four months or so. And when he says you won't complete the program without completing the curriculum, that's he means it. <laughs> Let me be the testimony to that. I'm still doing that for 16 months because of it. Anyway, I got that aside, but uh, I completed the netcasters and I'm out there now and the Lord has me in a different habit. I have a habit now instead of taking drugs, I have a habit of telling people about Christ. Yeah. Yeah. I go outside the door without attracting that pocket. I go everywhere with them. And at least one will be given to someone in that day, if yeah. not more. And uh, it's not because of me and it's not me who leads people to Christ, but I have done a few and uh, it's more and more, it's getting, and I'm getting better at it. And, the burden he gave me on, on living that life now, mm -hmm. and uh, the new habit he gives me is to read me Bible every day. Mm -hmm. That's the habit I have now. You don't know, read that before I go to work, and to be at work before I'm due in. That's another Amen. habit. Hey. Because uh, I used to struggle with uh, punctuality as well. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that's another habit the Lord has given me. Mm -hmm. but, um, I don't know what else to say to you, lads, but I'll tell you something. I just praise God for changing my life. Yeah. 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 So, and for this RU program, it's brilliant. I praise the Lord for this church, for our pastor, for Alan, for Leighton, for James, for Greg, for uh, anybody else who's growing even in the States. Praise the Lord for all the families in this church that took a heap of extra gadgets into their homes. I left our handbags and mobile phones on the counters. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. So many Christmas that are mad. 